Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of I'm on the Stars Celeb Room Review. So today I'm doing another review for you guys, and today I'm doing it on Love by Sofia Vengara. So this is her second fragrance I launched this year, 2015, and is a nighttime, more seductive version of the original um, one that came out. The original one called uh, Sofia. I don't know why I cannot think of that. Jesus Christ. Anywho. So mine, I got mine from my friend Jessie, me and her did a swap and she actually got this for me. So the front has, um, this is like a slip case on it, so this has the ad on it and it shows the bottle down there and like this, slip case comes off and the box looks like this this time. So it's almost like the reverse of what it was last time because last time it was black and then it had like these like a bronze, rose gold colored stripes. So this time as I throw it, oh my dear Jesus. I am just a mess today. Anyway, um, the back's uh, like a more pinky, purpley color, um, and then your stripes are black, and it says Love by Sofia Vengara, and then it shows the size down there, and then the stripes carry on to the back, and then you got this um, information about it, and then on top it's still black, and it's got the Sofia logo down there. So, the bottle for Sofia Vengara Love this time looks like this. And I really like this bottle. I really like how it's like black and then it fades to like this pink color down here. And my only issue with this bottle, and normally you guys know I'm not the one to jump on the bandwagon to say, yeah, that one's a little, you know, I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but I have an issue because I thought this when I first saw it and I've heard so many people say it. So my issue with this bottle is it kind of looks like this. And this is Stella by Stella McCartney. So, and my only issue with it is, is that these two bottles look very similar to each other. And I know that they're not, like, the exact same thing. I don't know if I can turn this the right way to get it to line up. But, I mean, they are very similar. And it just kind of bothers me in that aspect. But it is what it is. So, but with this one, so this one, um... Is a more nighttime, deeper version of it. So your top notes are mandarin, uh, passion fruit, green apple, and orange blossom. Middle notes are Colombian coffee blossom, purple orchid, Osiris root, and magnolia. With a base of ombre seed, um, amberwood, praline, and vanilla. So, I will tell you guys that straight off the bat, this is a very amber fragrance. Anyone who says it's not, they're lying. Because it's amber. Um, and that seems to be kind of the trend this year, I've noticed, because we had um, Between Us that smelled like amber, and we had um, J Lux that smelled like amber, and this smells like amber, and the new Jimmy Choo Illicit, I think is what it is, is it smells like amber. So, amber is a really popular note this year for some odd reason. So, when you first spray it, I definitely get the orange blossom, and I don't know where to put the lid. Oh, it's right here. I definitely get the orange blossom. The apple kind of adds a little bit of a crispness to the top, um, but the top's kind of lost by the amber coming from the base. Um, when you get to the middle, it's a little bit more floral. I can get the Colombian coffee blossom because it kind of has that little bit of a like a coffeeness to it, but it's not like it does not smell like coffee. The, the, the perfume does not smell like coffee at all, but you get kind of this weird coffee floral note in there that's a really interesting note and I love it because she's from Colombia and I love that she included that kind of a different note in there. Um, otherwise, I'm definitely getting like the purple orchid um, and the other florals that are in the heart in that, in that top just because it's the magnolia and the purple orchid kind of create this just like genuine floral heart and the coffee blossom also does too um but where you're really getting it is the ombre seeds the amber wood and the vanilla and the praline so the praline kind of sweetens up that amber the vanilla does too the vanilla kind of uh, softens it out if that makes sense but it's definitely amber um and it's a little bit more of a warm amber amber is already a warm scent but that wood adds a warmth to the base that's a little bit different from normal. So, I like this one more than I like the first one, just because the first one was very, very floral, and it had a lot of florals and flowers that were from Colombia. I like that she included a little bit of Colombian aspect from 
and then the second fragrance. But I do like this one a little bit more. It is a more sexier nighttime version like she was going for. So I definitely do like that. So Lasting Power, I get about 12 hours on this one. And that's just because it's so rich and heavy. It's not overpowering. It's going to be overpowering if you wear more than a couple of sprays. Um, if you're one that does like your pulse points, I would highly recommend spraying it two times on your neck and just kind of pulsing it from there because it's one of those things that it's so powerful that you don't want to spray it, you know, t once and twice here and then do it here. I would even recommend doing just one spray on your wrist, dabbing and dabbing because it's it a little bit goes a long way with this one, and I, but I definitely do like it. So, there you guys go. There is my review of uh, Sophia Vengar Love. And as always, guys, if you guys have requests for other videos that you guys want me to do, please do, do, don't hesitate to ask because I will do them. Um, I might not do them right away when you ask them, but I will get around to doing them at some point. So, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That's Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And if you're not already, go ahead and hit the button down below and subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with my new reviews. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.